Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. In today's video, I'm kicking off a new series that I think will be reoccurring on my channel just depending on how much you guys wanna continue seeing it. I'm basically going to be doing a custom palette with my singles every month to just kind of fit a theme for the month that I'm wanting to do. I think this is gonna be really fun. I think it's gonna be a good way for me to kind of get use out of my singles and get kind of my creative juices flowing and just create a really unique color story for me for the month. In this video, I will break down my palette. I will show you all the shades that I picked. I will do swatches, created this look with the shadows that I will show you at the end, and I'm really excited about it. I do also plan on doing an Instagram video slash TikTok with these shadows as well at some point, so just stay tuned for an additional look. Before we get into that though, let me just quickly give you my jewelry details. These earrings today are from Spooky Doodle Club on Etsy, and this is a CC brand beanie. So yeah, without further ado, let's just hop in and chat about my custom January palette. So I did have a request actually when I mentioned that I was gonna do this series um, a couple weeks back and they wanted to see what my inspiration was for my palette. So I figured I'd get into the inspiration first. Basically my inspiration is kind of like woodsy January cozy winter lodge kind of vibes. So I did make a little Pinterest board and this is just kind of like the vibe that I was feeling for the month. Just very cozy, wintry, woodsy. That was kind of what I was thinking. All right, are you ready to see my palette? I'm really happy with how it turned out. I did a 12 pan palette for this month and here's what she looks like. I think it's so pretty. I was trying really hard not to just do the very typical January feel, which I feel like is always just white and blue. I really wanted to play with some different tones. I really wanted to bring in some of that earthiness. I wanted a couple pops of warmth to represent the coziness. And I really, really like how this came out. And it was really fun to create, just having all of my singles in front of me and just kind of pairing things together. I love how this came out. And this was challenging in the sense that one, I don't have the biggest single shadow collection, and two, I definitely do not have the biggest matte single shadow collection, so it was a little bit of a challenge trying to narrow down what I wanted to do with what I had. In the future, I may potentially be pulling mattes from palettes, like ColourPop palettes, or just palettes with like shadows that I can pop out, so in the future, I might not be using things that are always available as a single, but more so just for the vibe, mostly for mattes as well. I have tons of single shimmers to play with, but with mattes, it might be tricky in the future, but this time I was able to actually use my official singles. Okay, let's get into what they are. I will do swatches as I show you everything, but I will do a close up of the swatches all together once I get through all of these. So first things first is Snow Globe from Terra Moons. I really wanted a really cute highlighty shade and I just felt like this would be a really good one to do. It's just so glisteny and pretty. I just bought myself this shade recently and I love it. It's just such a beautiful kind of icy translucent with that beautiful kind of minty, almost yellowy shift. And I felt like it kind of represented the sun kind of dancing on top of snow blankets. I love it. Number two is Runaway from Lethal Cosmetics. I did technically pull this from my Velvet Dusk palette, but this is available as a single. And I wanted this shade to, again, just kind of represent that warm, woodsy lodginess. And I felt like this was a really good shade to have. I like that yellowy warmth to it. I think it's really, really pretty. Third is the shade Hollow, which again is a shadow from the Velvet Dusk palette from Lethal Cosmetics, but it's also available as a single. And again, piggybacking off of that same mindset, I wanted some more just kind of woodsy, lodgy sort of colors because I felt like that kind of feeling could easily get lost if I didn't include enough like warmth and browniness to it. So I did want to have these kinds of colors to really add that element. Next up from Terra Moons is the shade Shattered Stars. My goodness, I can never like say that on the first try. This shade just really helped kind of give me that wintry kind of feel. This really made me feel like I don't really know how to explain it. It kind of reminded me of dew drops on top of greenery, if that makes sense. I feel like some of my verbiage is not gonna make sense because it's very much just like kind of what my heart is telling me, but that's kind of what it made me feel like and I really wanted to include this shade in this palette. I thought it would be a really pretty addition. Number five is our first pop of warmth. We have Bonfire from Terra Moons. I really wanted to include this shade. It's a really pretty kind of fiery magenta into an orange duochrome. And I felt like it just really represented that roaring fireplace that you might have going on, or even just like a bonfire outside in the snow. I thought this would be really pretty to have included in my little palette. Number six, this is the star of the show for this palette. This is called the Cosmos from Terra Moons. They actually included this for free in my order when I bought some shadows recently and I could not be more grateful because it's 
Currently one of my favorite shadows in my whole collection. This is what I'm defining as my pure winter wonderland shadow. It is the most beautiful multi-chrome. It has kind of that arctic blue that shifts pink and green and it's just all sorts of beautiful. It literally looks like an arctic moment. It's so pretty and I knew this had to be in my palette. Like this was the first shade I thought of when thinking of ideas for this palette. Number seven is going to be Bluebell from Glaminatrix. With this I really just wanted to include a nice light but not pastel blue. Let me extend that swatch a little bit. Just something to kind of play with like the wintry sky and just like those blue tones that you think of with January. I definitely did want that kind of a color to be a pop in this palette. Number eight is our other pop of warmth. This is also from Terra Moons. This is the shade Harvest. Again, just kind of piggybacking off of that warm, cozy vibe. Now this one isn't fiery the same way that Bonfire is, but it still just has that toastiness, that warmth. It really made me think of the woodiness and just like the warm accents and things like that. So I definitely wanted to include this one as well. All right, and last row here, number nine is gonna be Toadstool from Cleona. It's one of their duo chromes. Now this one's really pretty because it has that like warm toasty background, but it has that shift of that kind of woodsy greenery sort of shade. And I really, really liked that for this. I thought this would kind of flow with the warmth and the coolness of this palette. And I thought it would be a fun addition to the colors that I chose. Next up, number 10, 10, we have another matte. Now this is a ColourPop single. I don't even know off the top of my head if they sell pressed singles anymore, but this is the one that I have. This one is called Team Captain, and this is just basically your murky, swampy, dusty green shade, which I definitely wanted. I wanted to represent kind of the little pops of greenery that might still be surviving throughout the snow. Cause like not everything is always dead. I know I live in Florida, but I know enough about like different climates to know that sometimes certain greenery does survive. And this is what I kind of wanted to represent with that. And number 11 is going to be Conjure Up, also from ColourPop. With this shade, I was trying to represent like the pine trees, the evergreens, stuff like that. Again, those little pops of greenery that do survive in the snow. Just kind of that nice pop of green there. It's so pretty. And I thought it offset this color palette really well with just another kind of brilliant pop of color that was kind of in a different direction than everything else so far. And last but not least, number 12, I wanted to kind of play on that tone one more time, but in a shimmer form. This is from Glaminatrix called Poison Ivy. Just look at how pretty that is. It's such a rich, brilliant pine kind of green. It's so pretty. And I really, really like this color palette. I think it came out really nice. Again, I don't think it's your typical January kind of color story, but I love it. I think it's so pretty and I had a lot of fun playing with it this morning on my eyes and I'm excited to play with it again some more. So I'm just gonna go over all of these one more time in order as I show the close-ups. We have Terra Moon's Snow Globe, Lethal Cosmetics Runaway, Lethal Cosmetics Hollow, Terra Moon's Shattered Stars, Terra Moon's Bonfire, Terra Moon's The Cosmos, Laminatrix Bluebell, Terra Moon's Harvest, Cleona Toadstool, ColourPop Team Captain, ColourPop Conjure Up, and Glaminatrix Poison Ivy. I hope you like my color story. I would love to hear your thoughts. And I guess let's just get into the actual tutorial now, playing with these shadows. All right, hello, good morning. I have my spooky iced coffee. All right, we're gonna create a look with my custom January palette. And I'm very excited about it. I think it's really pretty. I feel like it might not be what people are expecting me to do. I don't know. I feel like when you think of January, you think of a lot of blues, and I didn't really want to do that. I wanted to play with blues, but I wanted to play with it in more of a unique way, and I really wanted to kind of play with the earthiness as well, with my like kind of vibe. I'll get into that with the swatches in the beginning. I've already talked about it. I'm not going to bore you again. So I definitely want to play with like a pop of blue in the front, faded into like those deep greens and like the murky tones, and then the lid I want to be just a whole conglomeration of things, and I'm very excited. Let's see. Let's start with Bluebell from Glaminatrix. I think that's a good place to begin. I'm going to take that on my Blend Bunny B1 brush. My bangs are getting too long already. And I'm just gonna start swirling this guy right in the front of my crease, just to have a nice little blue kind of pop in the front. I hope you're doing well. I hope your January is off to a great start. <laughs> I think this video is going up on literally January 2nd, so it's not like a lot has happened, but I hope it's going well regardless. Next, I wanna take Runaway from Lethal Cosmetics, and I'm gonna use that in the outer portion. I'm actually just gonna use that same Blend Bunny brush, but I'm gonna wipe it off on my little Odin's Eye brush cleaner so that it's clean. And this is gonna get focused in the outer part of my crease. 
I do want to wing this out a little bit. I'm gonna tuck this under that lower lash just a little bit as well. Focused mostly in the outer corner, not really all the way across. I am gonna have another shade down, deepening this up in a minute, but I did wanna just go ahead and get this laid down. I love this color. It's just so warm and woodsy to me. It's so pretty. All right, moving on. I'm gonna take Conjure Up from ColourPop, actually. This is a very old shadow. There's no telling if it still exists, but I, I have it, so. I'm gonna take my Blend Bunny B2 brush, and I'm just gonna use this just to kind of pack in the outer corner of my eye, just to lay this color down, start adding some depth and some of that greenery that I wanna see in this look. Essentially, that lethal shade is just gonna be my blending shade. I am totally cool if this green kind of takes over that shade. So I'm just really using that lethal one to help blend. So kind of taking that green all the way to where it's close to that blue, and I'm also gonna drag this in the outer part of my lower lash line. And then I'm just gonna take some more of my lethal shadow on that B1 Blend Bunny brush, or not B1, B5. I always wanna call this B1. It is B5. Speaking of Blend Bunny, have you seen her new palette that she's releasing, the Dollhouse? It is stunning. I am so excited. She did say it's on its way to me and I will absolutely play with it when I have it. Oh, look at these colors together. Oh my gosh, I love it. So now we're kind of in this mode and I'm loving it. I feel like it is just so cozy and lodgy and I'm feeling my vibe for sure. All right, next up we're doing some cut creasy stuff and I'm gonna be using two very different shadows for this. I want my very bright, twinkly winter wonderland shadow mostly on the lid and I want it to fade down into my warmth, my pop of fire, if you will. So I am gonna start with my NYX Glitter Primer and I'm gonna use just this ColourPop E4 brush. It's just a big flat brush. And I am just going to plop this on the lid and I'm just gonna kind of pretend to mark out where I want my cut crease to be, just so it's nice and sticky and prepped for my shimmers. I use this glitter primer with every shimmer. It helps everything pop and stick and look amazing. So I'm gonna be going in with The Cosmos from Terra Moons. I am so excited. I, I can't wait to put this on my eyes. This will be my first time putting it on my actual eye. I've swatched it countless times now, but I've yet to play with it. Oh, it looks magical. Okay, let's, oh my gosh. This is literally why this had to be in my January palette. It's an absolute winter wonderland. It's so pretty, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's magical, okay. So I'm basically gonna cover the most of my lid. I'm basically gonna do everything except this little corner of my lid down here. But everything else I am gonna cover, and I'm gonna try to make sure I'm being nice and precise where I want my cut creasiness to be. Stopping it kind of right where those greens are really building up in the outer corner. You see how just magical that is? Oh my gosh. Now that the Winter Wonderland shade is all over my lids, I do want to add my pop of warmth, but I do want to say I could probably just have just this all over the lids and I would be totally content, but I do want to add my pop of fieriness, so I want to take Bonfire now from Terra Moons. With that, I'm just going to use this pencil brush because I want something just kind of small just to really pack it on there. And I just want a nice little little pop of this in the outer corner. And I do think this is gonna flow nicely with my lid shade because there is that flash of pink in there. So I think it's all just gonna do good things. And then I'll just kind of take like my previous brush that I had with the Cosmos just to kind of tap and I'll just kind of go back and forth with both until I like the blend. Now I'm just gonna take my brush I used with the dark green just to make sure everything is smudged nicely in the outer corner. I don't have any additional product on this brush. And finally, for the inner corner, I wanna take Snow Globe from Terra Moons. This is just a really pretty icy shade with a really pretty kind of minty flip to it. So at this point, I just wanna finish this up. I'm going to throw on an eye pencil, my lashes, and something on my lips, and I'll be back when I'm complete. All right, here's my look complete. I'm obsessed with how it came out. I think this is so pretty. I think it's so glitzy and so just like cozy winter vibes. I really like this a lot. The eye pencil I ended up pairing with this is Prance from ColourPop because I thought it would just draw more attention to that pop of blue in the front of my look. My lashes are Blissful Baby from Likely Makeup and on my lips I really wanted to go with a brown just to like furthermore contribute to the warm, cozy, lodgy vibe. So I went with Mahogany Lip Clay from Kaleidos. I'm obsessed with how this whole look came out. I think it's so pretty. Uh, let's zoom out and I will finish up this video. 
that is it. That is my video. I hope you enjoyed my little video and tutorial playing with my custom Winter Lodge palette. Again, if you are interested, I can do this every month, but if you're not interested, note taken. I'll just do it for myself in private. I would love to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you think of these shadows. I would love to know if you own any yourself. And I would also love to see your version of a January custom palette. If you're someone who has a bunch of singles at home, make your own custom palette. Take a picture. You can tag me in it. I would love to see what you come up with. If you made it to the end of this video, leave me some things that make you think of January vibes, whatever that means to you. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Batty Bean fam. I am Batty Bean on everything. I post every day on Instagram and I'm pretty active on TikTok and Twitter as well. And if you want, you can subscribe if you wanna see more of my videos. I post most days over here. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.